I am on my dessert tip. I am a sweet guy. I am. I am. It's a guilty pleasure. But if you're going to have a guilty pleasure, you need to have a solution about it. So what I did for my solution was being a pastry chef, I combined both my passions with fitness, protein, working out, nutrition, and just being very realistic. So that's why I'm back over here to my protein, egg protein. 24 grams of protein, of course. Put it into a cookie. We can get 12, 13 grams of protein out of that. I'll do a couple of little different things and we'll get started. And I'll show you how to make the perfect protein cookie that is just absolutely insane. I'll start off with three and three. Three egg whites and three whole eggs. Get that nice and incorporated, right? I also have three times quarter of sugar. That's coconut sugar. I do the same thing with having six tablespoons of coconut flour. I'm using this combined in, I have two pinches of salt, about two tablespoons, about two teaspoons of salt. And it's gonna be kosher salt. I also have about three teaspoons of baking powder, and I have three times a quarter cup of our secret ingredient, the chocolate egg whites. That was quick, that was simple. You won't forget it. A whisk, incorporate it all in. And as this is incorporated, our oven is three, preheated at 350. And then we're gonna just go ahead and pour this egg right inside. Get that all incorporated. And then I'm also gonna get some of my chocolate chips. As the dough is getting incorporated for our cookie dough, we get it all put inside. Because we had the wet ingredients, now what I wanna do is shock it. So I'm gonna put it into the freezer, the freezer for a few minutes and let it solidify. And then we're gonna come out, we're gonna scoop, put them in there, and then we're gonna keep on rolling out. That's nice, nice and cold. I'm gonna break that up one more time. And I said they're drop cookies. So we're gonna get this and we're gonna just take and we're gonna drop it right there. That's why it's called a drop cookie. and you leave it to like as round as it possibly can get. We have special plans for these drop cookies just because we like to have fun and we like to be different. Perfect. We'll throw these in. Oven, we're right on the top and 350, close them up about 10 minutes. We'll check them in about five or so, but until we're checking them, we're gonna go ahead and get ready for the next step that I had no idea that I wasn't gonna tell you guys about. But just because we like to be different, we're gonna take some chocolate chips, put it inside here, we're gonna put it in the microwave. When you're melting chocolate in the microwave, make sure you do it in about 30 second increments, right? That way it doesn't burn. Chocolate is very susceptible burning really easily. So 30 seconds, look at it, take it out. 30 seconds, look at it, stir it up a little bit so it can incorporate it so all of it can melt evenly. Just 
is what you want right here. So we're gonna leave it right in the microwave while we get ready for our next step. Another one of my favorites. Got some organic peanut butter here. It's low sodium. Low sodium, of course, means low salt, right? I wanna take this off. You can actually even tell from the consistency of this peanut butter. I wanna get it here. I wanna put some heat to it. I wanna make that heat peanut butter creamy. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is do the same thing I did with the chocolate. I'm gonna put that peanut butter in the microwave. I'm not gonna hit it yet. We're gonna do it right before it's finished. And yes, this is for our cookies. So we start off one way and I said, chef, why don't I just give them a little bit more to make it more appealing, more delicious, more appetizing, more chef-like. So I decided to bring out a good old banana. Don't ask me why I love bananas.